if somebody wanted to go get one of these right now, how much would they have to pay? That's what I'm saying. Well, for this boy, it would be different. Why? What's why? Because he's the, for one of the, the first ones born in the U.S. So a puppy right now, what would, what would they be? Like this with this DNA and everything looking like him, I would say like 200k. Meet you at the show, did That's why I met you at the show. Bro, gonna give you the rest. You hear me? Right, look, this is what's going down, man. Baby Husky. You know this dog came from where? He was born in California. He was born in California. Um, but the genetics of it comes from the UK. The UK, yep. Uh, how many people do you know that has a Husky Koi Fluff? Three. Three people. Only three people in what? The whole world or the United States? The whole States? world. In the whole world, not just. Not just the United States. How many in the United States? Two. Two. And and he's and he, both of them are working? Both of them are working. And what's the difference in those two? Uh, they have the exact same DNA except for he's lilac and the other one's a blue fawn. So he carried more copies of chocolate than the other one, basically. Yep. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Is he a little bit smaller? I would say, yep. He carried a pink also? Yep. He carried husky? Yep. Koi, how much is his dog worth? Price on them, at least a mil. If somebody wanted to go get one of these right now, how much would they have to pay? That's what I'm saying. Well, for this boy, it would be different. Why? What's why? Because he's the, for one of the, the first ones born in the U.S. So a puppy right now, what would, what would they be? Like this with this DNA and everything looking like him, I would say like 200k. So this is a quarter million dollar dog, basically. Yeah. Quarter million dog, you seen it right here live breeding. I'm probably the first one. Have he bred to anybody in Dallas? No. Um, how long has he been working? Two months. So he just started breeding. You're looking at direct fresh drip. You're not looking at something that's been recycled and a lot of people have used. You're looking at the best of the best quarter million dollar dog in the semen by itself is 35,000. You know what I'm saying? So this is a husky, um, fluffy, full fluffy. There's not many out in United in the world, and it's only two in the United States. Um, how old is the other one? You said year, year and a year. And how old is he? Eleven months. Eleven months. So you got the up, 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 upgraded version that carries the copies of chocolate. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take it to my black tri fluffy. Uh, she carry blue and chocolate only. I'm gonna try to produce some chocolate. Um, I'm gonna try to produce some chocolate fluffies with the with the white eyes. You you think I could produce that with that? Yeah. Um. Definitely. Could you have a chocolate coin? It, it hasn't been done, but yeah. Oh man, it's different, man. I never seen one. This is a food of of husky. Right there. Wow. Look, look at that motherfucker's eyes. What is called? They call it husky coin, quarter million, not quarter million. Damn. <laughs> she don't carry no fun, so she should knock the fun out. Uh, he got a nice head on him. He got a nice body on him. You know, he's compact. He got a good little spread on him. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to. It's hard to get a dog that look like that, that carries what it carries. And then these dogs as puppies, they look very different. You know what I'm saying? The color coding is different. You know what I'm saying? The eyes is very different. So if I could produce a couple of them with white eyes, even if I get a black one with white eyes, I'd be, I'd be, you know what I'm saying? I'd be satisfied, you know what I'm saying? Um, you're looking at art. You know, it's hard to make a dog like this that carry all those genetics. Um, I bred her daughter to a King Pinky. So I got two puppies off that. They carry blue and chocolate. I'm, I'm gonna take those puppies off this and mix them with those and produce some. And hopefully I'll produce, um, I'll take those puppies also to a big bro. Yeah, let me go repro. You're in uh, Lancaster, Texas, which is South Dallas. And uh, we do progesterone, reverse progesterone, ultrasounds, TCIs, uh, shipping. Man, we do it all here. Yes, sir. Lancaster, Texas, man, my boy been here. I seen him one time. I came here one time about three years ago. I didn't, I didn't really know I was coming to this same exact spot, but bro come in handy. We hear it like, we hear it like uh, 12 o'clock at night, you know? Uh, the female, I tested her, my sister tested her earlier. She said she was at a 32. I immediately hit up bro and was like, hey, you think y'all can make it tomorrow? He said, well, we got baby husky in the car right now. We possibly can make it today. Uh, he has already bred today, so we're gonna see if he, you know what I'm saying, able to produce again, which he should be. It's been a little minute since he bred. We're finna check his semen, make sure he's good, and we're finna make us some quarter million dollar puppies. Yeah. So we got my boy in here, man. Um, this is my first fluffy. It's the first one. Yeah. 
first flow I ever bought, man. I co-owned it with him about what, about five, six months ago? Yep. Five or six months ago, I made a post. It was I had a lot of dogs in my facility. I wanted to give people a chance to win. Um, I posted online for co-own. He immediately jumped on and he got the female. You know what I'm saying? We finna breed it a, a baby husky. He don't really know a lot about dogs. He's getting into it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, he jumped in with the best of the best. Now he finna get some of the best of the best. Uh, Nova last little, she had six pups, so hopefully she throw it again. And uh, we get, he get three, I get three, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we, we be able to constantly produce off this. What's the best way to subscribe with that dog? Uh, as far as like the value of it, like how hard it is to make, who has it, like if you if you describing that dog to somebody, like the people that's gonna be watching on YouTube, what all would you have to say about that dog? It's, it's just a new generation. It's a perfect platform. You know what I mean? I mean anything else? I believe you know this is just a good starting point. You know if you have a fluffy that like you want you want to carry pink and you want to carry all the new DNA, this is the right boy to go to basically. How long have pink been out? About a year. About a year. About a year. Yeah. And how long has Koi been? I mean, Husky. Just like maybe six months. So, so this dog carries pink and Husky, and you, the pink only been out a year. This only been out in six months. Uh, it's thirty-five thousand to bring to this dog, bro. This is very rare to get some of these genetics. A lot of people that's not financially stable won't be able to get it for a long time, you know, and with it being that high, it'll be able to hold its value, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's good so we can play with it because the Husky is covering, you know, so it's a lilac underneath, so we don't know what a chocolate or Isabella or Rojo is gonna look with this shit, you know what I mean? But so he can still experiment on the. So with him being a lilac, he carried two copies of blue and two copies of chocolate, right? Yeah. He automatically passed one copy of each to yep. each offspring, right? Yep. Yep. Um, so what about the what about the husky gene? Does since with, if, with him being a visual husky, does he automatically pass one copy of husky? On? No, no. You'll it's just hit and miss like Merle, right? right? Tomorrow, yeah. Okay, gotcha. And he hasn't had no litter yet. No, you know, yeah. There's two confirmed: one six piece supposedly and one eight piece. He do look kind of long on this one picture. He don't look like he got as much girth, but like I said, I went to the show and I seen him in person, and um. I think he probably was one of the most expensive dogs in that show. Yeah, what show was it? It was a Miami, what was it? Um, gone Viral. Miami, Miami Gone Viral. When was that we went to that show? Sometime last month. It was about two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. It was about two weeks ago. I had never heard this dog, never seen this dog. I went there and I looked. I was looking for the best of the best, seen this dog. And I remember the dog and, uh, you know, I, I kept track of who owned him. And I got in contact when my female came to heat. I wanted to bring it to the best of the best, so I got in contact with him. Um, it was a lot of dogs in there, a lot of big ropes. It was no dogs in there that carried husky and pink. You know, it was no coys in there really. Um, and if they was, they wasn't fluffy. So I originally thought he was a husky koi, but um, it's, it's a difference. Uh, and I'm not sure what the difference is. I think the the koi is actually a merle pattern, right? Yeah. And the husky is what? The same thing. Well, but it's just in dominant, you know. Looking at it raw and uncut, and no cut on this, man. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. You know, we got a lot of breeds coming up. We got a lot of dogs we finna purchase, man. 
I got a lot of stuff I'm going to do that I have not showed you. Uh, subscribe to the channel, you know what I'm saying, and tune into the program. Uh, a husky boy. Bred to a cat lady mom. That's the cat lady mom right there, Nova. Um, that's my first visual, Fluffy. And she has produced me the most money, you know what I'm saying? She, she has produced the best for me. I think I had one other one that produced a good, high-quality amount of puppies, but she will always be my favorite because she's my first one. Here we go in the morning. Yeah, pretty much we also have like a good shot for TCI. Yeah, that's, a, that's a pretty good shot right here. For TCI? Mm -hmm. you, you don't really oh, need much? Good though. Nah, about it. Shot a little something. That's yeah, but cool. once you see the half TCI, it's pretty much uh, what we need. How much you need for a TCI? About one and a half, one, two CCs. So when do you think we should hit it again? I would, uh, depending on what was the numbers again? 33. Okay, uh, I should probably need uh, one tomorrow too. What time? You already booked the flight back? No. So what do you think, tomorrow evening? Yeah. Yeah, that way we can give her at least uh, 24 hours. How many breedings have you done with this dog so far? Six, seven. Six or seven breedings, and they all between 30 to 35 to 25. No, I got one at, uh, I got one at 50. 50 for a stud feet, just for the semen. You looking at this one here, 50,000 off? Right there. 50,000 in the bag. You're, stop playing. We don't got to touch no dope. We don't got to do nothing illegal no more. Yeah, you seen 50,000 right here. <laughs> Look at that female. Look how she knows she, she huh? That's top dog Kim of Nova. <clears throat> nice quality female. She hasn't been eating a lot. She hasn't been drinking a lot. She had a perfect size to where she's not too much overweight. She's not too much underweight. She's healthy. She can run and jump, full functional. You know, she has good temperament. She can stand there. My boy right here, he trains them. You see, along the walls, you see a bunch of trophies. You know what I'm saying? The best of the best in here. Look at that, junior handler. He got trophies on trophies on trophies on trophies. Come check this out. Device is right here. Uh, we got a microscope right here and pretty much a screen. And uh, right now we're pretty much looking at semen. So uh, the semen is pretty strong, looks alive, swimming good. And this other machine is our uh, ultrasound machine. And so we do all the confirmations after we uh, inseminate, which I give like around 30 to 35 days after insemination. So you had to put the semen on this microscope? Yeah. And it showed up on this computer? Mm hmm And what is all that? It's pretty much all the swimmers. See all the swimmers and uh... Swimmers yeah. is live semen. Mm hmm What you're looking for is for uh, swimmers. When you see, when you mean swimmers, that's live semen. You see it fizzing around. All those are baby sperm. You know, sperm counts. Um, the, the stronger the motility is, uh, the more to swim around. Now, usually if a dog semen is not good, once you put it on a microscope, it won't do much movement. You know, it pretty much it'll be dead. It'll be lazy. It pretty, you'll probably have a couple of moving. Now, your semen is very strong, so you got a lot of moving. Now, let's let's assimilate this female so we get this money. You know what I'm saying? How much? Three cc's, and you usually only need between one and two when you're doing a TCI. Any work today. Any work today, you know what I'm saying? TCI is a uh, transpherical uh, examination, and uh, we'll be going into the cervix on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these uh, spade tubes. It's a female cathedral, it's right here. And then for take the female, uh, when we go in with a TCI gun. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pretty much lube it, put some lube, then uh, Here we have the uh, 
exactly this page of feet line on the syringe. Use it in. So this is the second part. Looking at a man, uh, his first breeding is a uh, thirty-five thousand dollar breeding. You know what I'm saying? Um, he got with me on this on this cone deal, so we finna make sure he succeed. You know what I'm saying? Um, he, got, he doing a lot of TCI. He learning a lot today. You know what I'm saying? He's seen a quarter million dollar dog. He's seeing and learning about the business. Fifty thousand dollars semen. So basically, off those puppies, what do you think like they would be worth based off their DNA? And what do you think like if they carry the if one carry husky and pink, or one of them just carry pink, you know what I'm saying, based off his, the based off his uh, market of himself, what do you think those properties will range from? Anywhere from, depending if you're coning, 50,000 on a cone, and then going up to like 150. The DCI already. So we're about to go inside, so this is how it's gonna look. Check it out. You pretty much depending on him to throw the pink, Jane. Stronger than the husky gene. Yeah. And and how many how many pups was in this litter? Nine. That's crazy. Only uh, two didn't survive, but the rest of them did. And how many came out carrying husky and pink? So it was you can only be visual husky, and you can only be visual koi. You can't carry the husky or you can't carry the koi. They can only, you know what I mean? But there was uh, two boys and three huskies. Boy, you see that? Boy, no. Eight females and one male. Nine. All right. All right. So we ran all the way. Here we go. Coys. So explain to them what's going on in that camera right there. Future, we inside the cervix and we inseminate all the semen inside her pocket. Come look at that shit. Fish. Put that on the put that on the table right there for them so they know what's going on. Big breeding, not the little. There you go. Uh so all the semen goes all the way into the pocket and there's a higher chance it'll take. So basically what you seen him do, reach that syringe all the way inside her rock her walls where uh, if they was to stick naturally where the semen would go. So it's kind of like doing an AI, but you have a camera showing you exactly where you need to be um, dropping the semen at, you know what I'm saying? So you seen the semen get in there, it's kind of like instead of cutting it open and dropping it right on the eggs, you 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 using the camera to go inside of there without her being in the stress of uh, going into a surgical and dropping it on the eggs. So it's pretty much more natural than it'll be, you know what I'm saying, doing a surgical. So you hold it up for about about three to five minutes, huh? Yeah. Sometimes longer. You can hold it up to however long you want, but you make sure that semen get in there. My boy gave us some real good semen, uh, and we're gonna do it again tomorrow. We watched it go, you know what I'm saying, into the what's that? The cervix. The cervix, yep. And do what we supposed to do, man. We finna see what we do. Blue eyes on that thing. Two copy. Oh, he got one blue and one green one. Huh? No, I'm saying how much. You said you bred him today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the DNA on that female? Just, uh, just no, nothing. Oh, she very testable Merle, though. That was 30. <whistles> Full of fluffy, no bluffy. Two copies of chocolate. Two copies of blue. Just got bred with cat lady mama. All right. First one he ever seen. How long you been doing this? Yeah, I've been doing it like five years. Doing the fire, he ain't never seen a dog like that. Yeah, so we just bred to a koi, a husky, uh, to one of the 30 rich uh, partners, and uh, they're collaborating in this one. And this boy is super hard. Where is this, where is this dog based out of? It's, uh, it's um, San Jose, California, Bay Area. And what is that stuff you get with this boy? It's a uh, 35, a 30 to 75K, depending on DNA. Yeah, name plan. There it is. 35K. 40k, uh, studs being this boy, and he just went down here in Dallas, Texas. Yes, sir. And he's done like six breeding, right? Six breeding, yeah. And including her? No, this would be the seventh one, but yeah. That's because he'll basically um, add the husky gene onto it. That's why it's so hot. Husky and the pink. And then we'll be creating, you know, the first fluffy pink husky. First fluffy pink husky. 
If he was to go to a pink. Pink fluffy. Pink, pink. If he was to go to a visual pink, that carry fluffy though. Yeah. Still the same thing. Let's go here and see. Uh, or if you had a merle, then we can do a pink fluffy koi. Have you seen a pink a pink fluffy before? Nope. How much is a pink fluffy worth? Oh shit! Like at least two million. At least. So probably within the next year, he gonna be able to produce pink fluffy. Yeah. And those are. Those are well. He able to produce it right now, but you're gonna be seeing them around in the next year. Yeah, because there's no there's no females old enough basically to create that yet. And those are two million dollar dogs. Two million dollar dog, yeah. Because it would be the first of its kind. And so I got a, I got a, you know, I got the king pinky daughter. She's a blue, you know. Uh, she carries blue and chocolate and pink. If I was to breed her to him, what you think we would? We'll... She's a merle too, right? No, she just blue. Got 10 points, Connor. Kind of. Fluffy? No. no Carry. Fluffy. She carried pink, fluffy, and also chocolate. Yeah, so we can create some uh, chocolate pinks. Chocolate and blue, carrying pink? Carrying pink and no, make fluffy, full pinks because your girl carries pink and he carries pink. So you possibly could throw a visual pink. Yeah. Fluffy. No, only carrying fluffy. If she carries fluffy and he's a visual fluffy, you could. Oh produce, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she yeah. carries fluffy. Oh, then, or yeah. you, you could produce visual full fluffy pinks. Yep. And those are two million dollar dogs. Yep. And shit, I wouldn't even sell that dog. It'd be worth too much to me. Bringing it out, I mean, you'll make more money in the long run. How many dogs do y'all own of this caliber? Maybe like baby husky. One. His sister, his sister's a uh, boy carrying pink festival on Fluffy. And have y'all been getting offers for that? We did, but we turned them down. What they got offered? Quarter of a million. Quarter million dollars for the sister? For the sister. And you turned it down? Turned it down. Who you plan on bringing her to? Uh, we'll figure it out when the time comes. The best the best of the best, though. Whatever the best of it is, yep. y'all running her to him. Yep. And those puppies will be two million dollar puppies? Yep. They will be... Possibly visual pinks. Hoping to get a milk, you know what I mean? Just let them out for at least 50k minimum. So have y'all been doing any putback deals on the dog? No, no deals. So are y'all gonna purchase more females specifically to breed for him? We've already been doing it. We got um, some cobra blood and some Hercules blood, so we're bringing it back to like, you know, structure. The, the structure old school and then you know, because I got a King Pinky son too. He's a Merle Fluffy. He's a Merle carrying Fluffy Pink and Testable. So I'm going to run that that male to one of those females, this male to one of those females, and then breed those together, you know, so we can get that correct looking dog. So what do you think of like a King Pinky son? Um, that's a blue and tan Merle carrying pink and chocolate. What does that dog work? Shit, at least 50, 60K. Call home, 30k at least. Gotcha. I like that one green eye, one white eye. When I seen the dog at the show, I really ain't like, I was just walking, you know, pretty much in the day. And uh, the guy that I co on her daughter with, uh, he was like, that's baby husky. And I'm like, well, who's baby husky? He was like, he carries, he's a husky. They carry the pink. Uh, I, I didn't see no. Fluffy Huskies in the building. Did you see some? That yeah. was Fluffy? Fluffy Huskies? Yeah, there was, was one. There was one. What was the name? Jay-Z. That's also produced by Diego. Uh, I think it's his cousin, eh? Ain't uh, that that dog? Yeah, that they, got, they got the same dad. Okay. So that's that's the dog that you was talking about? Is uh, the second one in the world with that DNA? Yep. But he's a fawn, right? He's a fawn. Yeah, okay. blue fawn. Blue fawn. Jay-Z's a blue fawn, and this is a lilac. Yep, yep. This is a lilac fun. Lilac fun. Let's see what he do. 35. Blue. Appreciate you guys. You know what I'm saying? Can I run? No, no problem. Hey, look. Thank you, buddy. This right here ain't no paper. It's the best of the best going on. Um, big plans for, you know, Baby Husky and our program. Uh, we're using this stuff because it's DNA and the way he look. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just about the DNA, it's also about the structure of the dog, you know, the quality of the dog, the head on that dog, the neck on him, you know, the, the feet, the compact back, his color pattern, the way his coat is sitting, 
You gotta pay attention to all that. You gotta know how to pick these dogs. You can't just be going around just breeding dogs. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know what to breed to what to produce what, and you gotta know what you're gonna take those puppies to to produce what. That's what we do at the best of the best from the east to the west. You just bred to a black tribe. Man, you moved up pretty quick. Yeah, that's pretty good, man. That's a good job. Yeah. Yeah. And I had to call for 30. You know, it's the best way to do it. I feel like you're going to do something. You have to do it all the way right. But at the same time, you want to get that knowledge. You know, you want to jump in there. Yeah, well, they said, man, scary money makes the money. So, yeah. Yeah. You're doing it right. I heard about 30. Shit, just on the internet, blowing up. You know, doing this thing. Marketing game of fool, like if you fucking with 30 or just messing around with them, you, you gonna get a lot of knowledge from them just, just by being around them, you know what I'm saying? Talk a lot, but he say the right things and then you fuck around and learn some shit just about people game and shit like that. So, you know, you gotta have people like that around you. Just how I seen how he helping others. He ain't just in it for just trying to milk everybody out their money. He, you know, he doing things and teaching other people how to do it the right way, uh, putting other people in position to win. So I'm like, that's the type of person that I would want to do business with. You know what I'm saying? So, show like that. I just started. This is going to be my first litter. Producing the best out here. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what I'm trying to do. His, his first litter is going to be some of the best shit in Dallas. Some of the best shit in the world. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? His first litter is going to be Huskies, carrying pink, carrying chocolate, carrying the blue. And uh, you just told you them puppies ranging from what? What you said, 75 to 150? It ain't too many 75 thousand dollars dogs running around here. You know what I'm saying? That's why you you tap into the program, man. I'm gonna get you right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I gave him my, my best producing female. You know I should have kept that dog, but I'm I'm hurt and you know, I'm financially stable and I I know enough about the game and I have enough dogs to where I can put people in position. You know, it ain't just about me winning all the time. And that's when the, that's how the brand gonna grow. When you help others and you have others get established to where they're able to make money, that can only bring you up. As you elevate, it's going to open more doors for you, open more doors for them. You know what I'm saying? It makes them feel comfortable coming back to reinvest into my program to one of my dogs. A lot of people on the comments say, well, hey, why he don't never show no dogs? Or why y'all don't never show no dogs? We don't have to show our dogs. You know, we do the footwork of producing. That's what it's about. It ain't about putting everything on camera. It's about having a production and um, providing these people with high quality dogs, you know what I'm saying? Um, very good genetics, you know what I'm saying? Not many health issues, you know, show people stuff they have never seen before, bro. We have never seen a Husky Koi, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and we finna produce some dogs that possibly they have never seen a chocolate, you know, Husky, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that female has thrown chocolate for me. I bred her to a lilac before. I bred her to a lilac Merle. That's how I got um, Cat Lady. Cat Lady Brothers was chocolate. So she throws the chocolate, you know, that's why I put my trust in her. That's the female that I could trust to put 35000 into because she done did it before. No play play. I'm finna get out of here, Bob. All right, thank you. No, no, no. Matter of fact, pull out, pull out some of them boys you got. What you counting on? What you counting on? Uh, Dummy Girl Frenchies. And where we at? Where we at? Dallas, Texas, and uh, Lancaster area. Right, what we just do right now? And we just produced one of the first boys here. Dallas, Texas, man, it's gonna be a big thing, you know. Big thing for you for Dallas Texas, man. And like you said, man, you're gonna take the plate. I appreciate you, brodies. Shout out to the crew right here. Got all the homies. Yes, sir. Appreciate you guys. What are you kidding? That's straight your production. Yeah. Actually, that's my, that's, that's my mama there. I produced her. Uh, this one here is going through one of my uh, friends. This this the mom to the blue female? Yeah. She produces crazy stuff, man. So when's she coming to here? Uh, she probably got me to here in four months. That was her last litter? No. That's blueberry? Yeah. This one here, she's a small bunch of weight, man. Like, her name's Muffin, but they call her uh, AKA uh, uh, Little Hope. She's got muscle like a bully. Here, look at the back. Big ol' head. Hold that thing for me. Like a girl, no. Yeah, she waits, man. She has some weight. We got this boy right here. Have you seen him? From mm -hmm. Kids Wars? No, it's Diego's. Oh, see? Yeah, we have contact with him. He's in my team. You know what I'm saying? You got some of these. 
Some of these that looks like this, I think Grinch blood, these dogs are worth 80 to 100, sometimes $40,000 for one of these, you know what I'm saying? And those are structure dogs. So you got some that carry the fluffy that's worth worth a lot, you got some that carry structure that's worth about the same amount as the fluffies. So you can choose your lane. You like the ones with no hair, with structure, $70 to $80, shout out to Grinch blood. You said you've been here about three, four years? Yes. People constantly come to get tested. Mm -hmm. When they get progesterone, they get AI, they get TCI, they get ultrasound also, right? Yeah. Um, and your son, he also does he does the training for the dog. Yeah, he does a little training. Like if anybody needs training for like dog shows, yeah, he he does training here. We don't put a facility in the back. We have like a little roof in the back. We pretty much are. What, what are you training them to do? Pretty much anything for shows, athletic. You want to take your dogs to AKC, ABKC? I got you. So, what do you usually charge for something like that? So I'll be doing 50 an hour, I can do 600 a week, that's what I charge. And how, how many dogs do you train a week? I train like a, about like 8 dogs a week. Sir, how many? 15, I mean 16, 16. What made you want to do that? Pretty much it started with my dad, when he got in the ring, I saw him that he was making a lot of mistakes. <laughs> so I just took over and started watching other handlers and it just got better. So you start watching handlers like on YouTube? Not in the ring. In the ring? Yeah. And, and you basically learn from them on how to, you know, make your dog do certain things and mm -hmm. behave right. Yeah. So you, you teach them how to just stand there and without moving, right? Pretty yeah. much, huh? Charge six hundred for that and you've been doing you done you do about eight dollars a week. Yeah. So that's pretty you know, that's a pretty good amount of money for somebody that's only sixteen. That's a whole business, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So do you plan on like showing other young kids on how to do that? Yeah, this this is pretty much where we started uh uh, this this past Saturday we went to a uh, pup my love and training um, with Mike the Mike. We went out there, started teaching all the uh, youth how to handle their dogs and pretty much grow the future. Yeah. It's real. So, um, how many people do you think come through here today to get progesterone or ultrasound AI? Uh, we usually go to like ten progesterones per day. So that, that's only open from 5 p.m. to uh, midnight, pretty much. So you're, not, you're probably making about five, six hundred dollars a day. In a good day, yeah. Well, actually, in a slow day, for hundred. A good day, like like close to a thousand. Close to a thousand dollars a day. So you do yeah. that for a week. You 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 line to get seven to thirty-five hundred dollars a week. Yeah. That's another business also that you guys could start in in, in raising and breeding dogs. You know, you, you don't have to breed dogs. You don't have to do dogs. You could do testing. You could do TCI. You can do an ultrasound AI and still create an income from home. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, we create bosses. 2023. Become your own boss, sock, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna give you guys a lot of game and a lot of knowledge so you can, um, you know, have different streams of income and ideas and see what's going on in the dog world. The best of the best from the east to the west. You're talking about this dog he finna bring. Yeah, so this dog he finna bring, uh, actually, we got into the bullies by mistake. We wanted to, we went to the show one time and, uh, and the show was like the best handler with one, one dog. Who that dog? So actually, those dogs here, he catches the one. And how did you get that dog? Wow. You won the whole dog? You got the dog for free. For free. Wow. What did you do? Pretty much the dog went to the best dream handler. I had to get out a uh, big shout out to Edward for pretty much giving me this boy. So it was a competition. The best junior handler could win the dog for free. You won this high quality dog for free. How often do you breed this dog? This, this dog's already a year old and here he has over 21 breedings. So you got a whole nother business on the side yeah. from your free dog just yeah. by going to a dog show yeah. and knowing, you know what I'm saying, intellectual knowledge on how to handle a dog. Yeah. So basically, you know, my boy went to a dog show. Um, I guess they had a junior handler competition. Um, and they, they the, whoever was the best junior handler was able to win the dog. Now this is not a low quality dog. This dog got good neck, good shoulders, good head. The correct bite, you know, full tail, compact back, you know what I'm saying, rear thick. Uh, that's not a dog you get away for free. And my boy just got him a whole nother business. He said, this dog already got 20 breedings, you know what I'm saying? Um, he probably stood him out between 15 and 2,500 to where yeah. he done made an extra 40, 50 thousand dollars off this, off this mail. So he got two businesses at 16 years old. And he, he got a whole business just because he went to a dog show and, and, and had the intellectual knowledge of knowing how to, you know, uh, stack dogs, you know what I'm saying? So while a lot of kids are on a YouTube channel, you could possibly go to a dog show and win free money, win a free dog, 
you know, it's it's a whole dog world out there. It's a whole dog community. Start getting out, going to the dog shows, learning the different qualities of dogs, and you can win dogs. If you follow my, my Instagram, we do a lot of dog giveaways. We do a lot of raffles where people can win dogs. We've got people that's passionate about dogs and love dogs but don't have the, 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 the financial stability to purchase one of these dogs. Uh, uh, how does dog bread? He got you papers and everything? Your papers and everything. How, what is what is this dog off of? He's off of a uh, Powerball from Houston, and then a uh, beef from where's beef from? Busachi line. Busachi line. Money Graham, his son. You stood. Money Graham, that's a chocolate murder. With yeah. Chocolate. With the tan points. And they also thick as like him too. Uh, full tail. You can see the uh, the beef in him. You see how his muzzle kind of, you know? Yeah. I'm off a of I like it. You got some more of them? You got some more bullets back there? Uh, only the female that wanted to show you. She's a uh, target granddaughter. Uh, daughter of Dolphin Bag. She looks just like him. So when you're dealing with these style of dogs right here, it takes a while for them to mature. They're the type of dogs that grow into muscle. They don't come out, they come out looking like regular pit bulls, but as they get older, they muscle pops. They get the head, they get the neck, they get the shoulders. You gotta know what, you gotta know the blood and know what you're dealing with in order to produce certain qualities of dogs. This is the direct bullseye granddaughter. Now her mom is an older style dog, but bullseye is a dog that's known to produce microbes. Thank you much. Thank you. Appreciate you. Stand up. All right, OG, double OG. I want to I call how much you want to tell me to uh, own half of your business. Yeah. Huh? What you seeing that dog, you know, and what you seeing, what you seeing overnight of the dog and learning about the dog, how do you feel about the breed? Like, how do you feel about your investment on that? I mean, to be honest, I'm really just going off you, but I mean, just seeing the dog in person and seeing the structure on them and seeing how different it look, you know what I'm saying? I know that, it, that I'm investing in something different and, you know, different is good, especially when you're in this dog shit, you know, you want to be ahead on the DNA and, and, and know what you're getting into, so, for sure. Like, Tell them where to find you at. What's your ad name? Shit, my ad name at Young OG Official, my dog page, Luxury Lifestyle Kennel. Uh, you can follow me on there. You gonna see some puppy real soon. So he also he also does music. You know he's also is an entrepreneur. Also, he invests in artists. You know he he has different investments. You know so tell him what all you do and what all you looking forward to do. Shit, I'm investing in athletes. We got uh, I just invested in a in a little kid. We just got him signed with Boosie. Uh, we got him a, a deal with Champs. You know uh, I'm investing in this dog shit. Uh, you get artists signed. Yeah, we get artists on. We do all that. You know, we just putting our money in rotation. You know, he ain't doing nothing, just sitting there. East to the West, best of the best, man. Young OG official.